Dwayne Hump Hobbs, CEO of Sucker Free Records, faces 10 years to life in prison without parole. He is facing conspiring to distribute cocaine and money laundering charges and is accused of being a member of a drug distribution network that allegedly sold hundreds of kilos of cocaine on a regular basis. Hobbs' Sucker Free imprint was home to rapper Lil Flip from 1998 until 2004 and had a deal with Columbia Records to release Lil Flip's major label debut, Underground Legend. The Houston Chronicle reports prosecutors say Hobbs was quietly a part of the drug cartel which reached Mexico, Houston, Chicago, Mississippi, and other states. While Hobbs' involvement has yet to be determined, one informant claims delivering hundreds of kilos of cocaine to Hobbs on numerous occasions. Prosecutors also claim to have a phone conversation on record between Hobbs and Abraham Woods, who was allegedly the organization's main link to Mexican cartels. Woods was arrested in a drug sting in 2009 and was murdered in a house apartment shortly after his release. Dwayne Hobbs has no criminal record and was well known for his activity in the Houston community, as well as his passion for gospel music and singers. He also helped mediate a violent dispute between Little Flip and T.I. back in 2005. Hobbs will appear in court in January. Ricky Rose has canceled an appearance at the Cross River State Community Festival in Calabar, Nigeria, a 32-day festival and the biggest carnival celebration in all of West Africa. As you might remember, Rick Ross canceled several shows back in October after suffering two seizures. However, his reps denied cancellations are due to health reasons, but instead to, quote, unfulfilled contractual obligations. Vincent Hardiman, a.k.a. Young Vito, surrendered to police yesterday at 3 p.m. after a long investigation into the murder of rapper Slim Duncan. Atlanta police alleged Young Vito shot and killed Slim Duncan on December 16th at a recording studio. Detective David Quinn of the Atlanta Police Department told WSB-TV2 in Atlanta, quote, we got a call from Mr. Hardiman's attorney. They wanted to turn themselves in to me personally. He went on to say, quote, we did get some cooperation from witnesses, but we're still urging the public, whoever it was at 1074 Memorial Drive on December 16th to give us a call, close quote. Young Vito has been free on bond since April after an arrest where he pulled a gun on two women during a standoff. NBA legend Magic Johnson is making plans to attack homophobia and HIV AIDS within the hip-hop community by creating a coalition that will engage rappers to speak out against homophobia and discrimination against gays with the main focus to raise the level of awareness and break down the stereotypes about HIV and AIDS. Magic refused to reveal the names of the artist but claims that he has five or six stars aligning with the new initiative. Last year marked the 20th anniversary of the Hall of Fame Laker point guard's announcement that he was HIV positive, along with his retirement from the NBA. And finally, you may be like me and wondered where was the original Aunt Viv on the recent Fresh Prince of Bel-Air cast reunion? Well, Janet Hubert recently told TMZ, quote, there will never be a reunion as I will never do anything with an a-hole like Will Smith. She went on to say, quote, he is still an egomaniac and has not grown up. This constant reunion thing will never, ever happen in my lifetime unless there is an apology, which he doesn't know the word, close quote. Wow. In 1993, Hubert claimed Smith was to blame for her departure in the middle of the show's run because she wouldn't kiss his butt. The Fresh Prince refuted these claims, telling an Atlanta radio station that Hubert had a bad attitude, which played a major role in her demise. And that is your love letter.